Okay guys, this is very sobering, but this is a message. It's very, very important. For those of you that have been commenting negatively and speaking out against the message, guys, we're gonna do an incense offering here. And this is very sobering times, guys. The Lord is leading us into a, a special time of his return, okay? But the people are not respecting the message. They're not respecting the holiness of the Lord. They're not respecting what it's like to go through the wilderness, to go through testing, okay? Guys, many of the things that are on this channel, if you don't understand, what I strongly encourage you to do is do not attack the message, okay? Do not attack it. If it's different, if it's new, see if those things are not so. Now, what we're going to do is this, all right? It's a sequence of message we've been telling you about the army. We've been telling you about the spoons, okay? We've been telling you, we've got an incense altar right here, guys. Now, we've been telling you about this. This is Revelation chapter 8. Revelation chapter 8. We see this offering, okay? Um, Revelation chapter 8. And um, an, an angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer. A golden censer is a spoon, okay, or a shovel. And there was given unto him much incense, okay? So I have some incense here. And there was given him much incense that he should offer incense um, as the prayers of the saints, okay? So guys, we're offering incense. We're doing this, all right? Now, it's very important that you follow here, okay? Uh, that you should offer with the prayer of the saints in the, in the smoke of the incense. You can see the smoke of the incense rising, okay? Um, smoke of the incense came with the prayers of the saints and ascended before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire from the altar. So what the angel is doing is he's, he's, you can see that you, you apply the incense and it, and it causes a, a smoke to rise. But then it, you can also take uh, the censer is a shovel or uh, a spoon, which we've seen. Okay. And now you can see we have a coal. Okay. So he has this coal. He has this coal. He takes this coal. You can see that's still lit. And then, um, with the fire from the altar, and he casts the coal to the earth. Okay? He casts it to the earth, and there were voices, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. Okay, remember the earthquake. All right. So let's reenact what we just did. So the angel took the incense, which is the prayers of the saints. Now, what we're doing, guys, is many of you burn incense to the queen of heaven. And now you're going to be tested, okay? The message that is going forth, you're being tested. You're being tried, but you're attacking the message. This is a message from the servant of the Lord. You're about to see who is the servant of the Lord and who is not, okay? We're about to divide the hypocrites and the liars. Now, the way we know this is we go to Numbers. If you've been following this channel, you know that we've been going through uh, Numbers, chapters 1 through 10, okay? When we get to Numbers, uh, chapter 16, guys, this is very holy. You get to the story of Korah. Okay, you get to the story of Korah, and what what happens is Korah goes against the servant of the Lord. All right, and goes against the message. Says, no, no, no. It's not just a remnant. It's not just a small number. We're all priests, not just the Levites. So they go against God's commandments. Okay, and that's what a lot of you are doing. You're going against the commandments. You're going against the message. And now what's going to happen is number sixteen, right here. Okay, and he said. And, he, and Moses prayed for you, and I'm praying for you as well, all right? When I'm doing this, I'm doing this with sincerity and honesty and holiness, and I'm praying for you. But this is what's going to happen. Just like Korah is prophesied in Jude, the same thing will happen in the last days. We'll get those verses in a minute. But this is what's going to happen, guys. The earth opened up on Korah, all right? And he said, separate the company of Korah, all right? And he said, okay, take a golden censer. And offer incense, all right? So he told Korah to do the same thing. Why? Korah was following Mystery Babylon. Korah, Korah was following a false god coming against the servant of the Lord, all right? And uh, Moses told him, take every man a censer and put incense in it, um, in them, and bring them before the Lord, and every man his censer. And there were 200 and 50 censers, okay, 250 censers or spoons or shovels. Guys, the previous video I told you about the great multitude is going through the great tribulation. That was video number 250. On my Bible, 
if you look, you can see page 250. That's where numbers is. So guys, this is real. This is coming from the Lord. And he said, every man take your censer. And I'm saying the same thing to you. Take your censer. Take your offering. Take your incense. All right? And um, and they took every man and censer and put fire in them. And they laid the incense there. And they stood at the door of the tabernacle. So now what's happening is God is judging. God is judging who is true servants and who is not. Even if you don't understand all this, don't speak against it. All right? Don't be aggressive. We're learning new things. All right? And the glory of the Lord appeared in the congregation. And he said, separate among this congregation that I might consume them in a moment. And uh, Moses and Aaron interceded for the people. Okay? But then what happens, it was a great earthquake. The earthquake, the earth opened up and consumed 250 men. Now guys, this is the thing that's going to happen to many of you speaking against this message. What the same thing I just showed you with the coal... All right, the coal from the altar is being released, it's being thrown to the earth, just like the angel says, it's being cast to the earth. Okay, that's what's going to happen to you. All right, um, and Moses and Aaron took the censer and fire and from the altar and put incense and quickly onto the congregation to make atonement. So I'm making atonement for, for many of you that are sincere, that are coming out of Mystery Babylon, that you receive not of her plagues. Okay. Um, and they ran in the midst of the carnage. Behold, a plague was already begun in the people. The plague has already begun amongst many of you. The fire of the Lord, the judgment of the Lord is going to go forth. And, and things are going to go against you. Why? Because you're, you're offering incense to the queen of heaven. It talks about this in Jeremiah. Okay, You're going against the message and the servant of the Lord. And now fire is going to go forth. Plagues are going to go forth. Judgment is going forth right now. Okay? So uh, take heed with what you say. Take heed with what you do. Every word you speak, you're accountable for. Okay. Now let's go look at Korah and Jude. In the book of Jude, it talks about this, man. Guys, this is serious. Okay. Woe unto them, for they have gone after the way of Cain. They have greedily run after the heir of Balaam for a reward and perished with the gainsaying of Korah. So this is what's happening. You guys are coming against the word of the Lord. You're coming against the servant of the Lord. You're coming against the message of the truth. Okay? And these are spots in your feast and clarity and that feast among you. Feeding themselves. Okay? With you. Alright? Raging waves of the sea foaming with their own shame. Wandering stars. They are reserved for blackness and darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of thee, saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all and, a, and to convince all of the ungodly of their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and all of their hard speeches and ungodly sinners which they have spoken against them. So that's what's happening to many of you. The fire is going forth. Plagues are going forth. Judgment is going forth. You're going to see things and you're going to see them happen soon because you come against the message of the Lord. Okay? If you don't understand... Just learn. Be teachable, okay? But do not attack the message. Um, and these are uh, speeches of ungodly sinners spoken against them. These are murmurers and complainers walking after their own lust. So you're murmuring, complaining, you're speaking against this message, all right? You're heading right into judgment, and I'm warning you, all right? Repent. Your ways are off, okay? You're worshiping the queen of heaven, not the most high God. So that's why you're going into the trumpet judgments to be judged, okay? Uh, after their own lust and their mouth, speaking great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration. Okay, so guys, that's what's going on. It's clear right here. Another one I want to read to you is Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 8 talks about these men with the golden censers. Many of you guys say, oh, Leland, watch this video, watch that, this rapture, that. Guys, be careful these guys, man. This is what's going to happen to them. And there stood 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. In the midst of them stood... Uh, uh, one of them with the censer in his hand and thick incense went up. So you see the incense going up. You have a, a, uh, an ancient, okay? And, the, and then said he unto me, Son of man, have you seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in dark? Every man with the chambers of his imaginary. So God sees us not. He, for, he is forsaken the earth. So guys, the, the judgment is going forth just like the 250 men that opposed Moses. 
the, the judgment is going forth, the fires of the Lord is going forth, the judgment of many of you that have opposed this. So guys, I know many of uh, the people will be, will be cursing me, will be doing those things that you can't touch me. I'm the servant of the Lord. I'm not doing this because I want views, okay? I'm doing this out of obedience. I'm doing this because I'm called. Many are called, few are chosen. Eclectos, okay? So guys, that's what's going to happen. Many of you, you'll see these things happen to you, happen to you, and when you do, take heed, repent, change from your wicked ways, okay? Now, guys, this is the other thing I'm doing is this is the army. The army, those that are part of the army are taking heed to the Lord's calling. There's fire that issues out of the mouth, okay, of the army. You see that in Joel 2. And that's what's happening right now. My words are coming out in fire, judgment uh, against those that are with Mystery Babylon, okay? A couple of things before I close, I want to read from Jeremiah chapter 1, okay? Uh, and let's see. Prayers of the incense. Uh, excuse me. Let me go to. I was going to my notes. Let's go to my Bible. And we'll go to Jeremiah uh, chapter 1. It talks about burning incense. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Verse 16. And I will utter my judgments against them, touching their wickedness, who have forsaken me and have burnt incense unto other gods and worship the works of your hands. Guys, that's what many of you are doing. You're not worshiping the true God. You're worshiping an image of God in your mind. Okay? And that's why you attack the servant, because you have a false God. Thou therefore gird your loins, arise, speak unto them all that I command you, and be not ashamed of their feasts, lest I confound you before them. Behold, I have made you this day a defense city, an iron pillar, a brazen walls against the land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. They shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail uh, against you, for I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. So guys, that's what's going to happen for many of you in the army. You're going to rise up. You're going to have words. Your words are going to be fire, okay? Just like the two witnesses. So glory to his name. Take heed, okay? The fire of the Lord is going forth. Judgment is going forth. Things are going to happen to you, all right? And God loves you, but he wants you to repent and prepare for his son. Amen.